Okay, we're back here on part two. What I'm doing here is just sort of outlining things. And I'm going to introduce you to a new tool here. This is an old compass I had. And uh, I went and took a nail, sharpened it up, got rid of the lead that was in there, and just epoxy this nail in there. Now this is just a divider. You can find these down at an art supply store easily. But this thing will help you out considerably. And by that I mean when you have, uh, you know, you're working on one side and you want to make sure your carving stays equal on all points, you can use one of these dividers here. See, I can measure from the bottom of that neck up to the bottom of the ear right there. Then I can bring it over here on the other side, put it on the bottom of the neck, and bring it up to the bottom of the ear. Now that's going to be just a little bit different because uh, it's, it's farther in. Let me see how I can do this to where it'll work. Let's just try it from the top of the ear to the top of the head, which would be right there. So the top of the head to the top of the ear. See there, it shows you right there where it is. And we can extend it on down, bring it down here if we want. And we can take it from the top of the ear to the bottom of the ear, like that. Bring it around here, top of the ear, to the bottom of the ear, like that. See, right there's the mark. So I can make this just a little larger. Like that. Believe me, it comes in handy. You don't have to have one, but it sure helps if you do. Okay, what we're going to do is I'm going to outline this ear here. I went ahead and did this side. So that's what we're going to do over here, okay? So to start it out again, again, like I say, brace this thing up against your chest. Start right there. About right there. See there? And then just don't cut straight in like this. Cut it towards a slight angle outward, all right? And then just outline that ear. Bring it right down to your line right there. And then it's just a matter of of gradually working it down. where you hit the other side. See there, we've outlined that ear now. The important thing is, is you don't want to cut into this area here. So what I'm going to do is Take this down to where it's equal to that other side, and then we'll pick it up again from there in a minute, okay? You don't need to see this. Alright, I'm just doing a little clean up here. Okay, like I say, we we're going to carve this side to match that side, and we did. So, uh, I took my pencil and I sketched in my sideburns here. Across. What I want to point out to you, what a, a lot of people make a mistake. It's, it's really noticeable to me. Even though you're carving a caricature, there's a human head, okay? All right, now our caricature is going to be a little different than that because we're carving a caricature. Maybe we'll put a mustache on it. But what I want to point out is when you're doing the neck, 
The neck does not come down even with the back of the head. That just looks terrible. And when I see that, I say, gee, you know, had they just taken a little more time and brought that neck in, even if it has hair, you know, like my, my little figure here has, even if it has hair, by moving that line in to where it's really supposed to be, even though it might be a caricature, is going to make your head look a hundred percent better. See there how much better that looks? Like that, instead of like that. <laughs> it's just a little, little area right there. Get rid of it. Even though you're carving a caricature, remember, you're working on a little person. And that little person has to be correct. See how much better that looks? How much better that looks? It looks natural. And that's what you want to look for when you're doing your work. Is Although it's a caricature, it's still a little human, so it should be uh, correct to a certain degree. All right. So okay, we got both sides done. I've got my uh, hair outlined. I'm not going to worry about details on the ears. What I'm going to do right now is just kind of take a few chips off of, off of here. I like to get rid of this uh, rough, these rough areas because I can't really see what's going on. There, now I can see. Get rid of this top there. Round it off. Of course, he'll probably be wearing a hat. And even if he's not wearing a hat, it still has to look good. There. All right, now, let me redraw my hairline. don't want straight lines. What I normally do on a figure is I'll come up here and I love doing comb overs because you know, I'm going bald so, so maybe it's a reflection on me. Okay so I'm going to come down here with my knife right to his uh, end of his sideburn. I'm going to come over here I'm going to follow that line up about right there. Now I'm going to take my knife, come in there, check time. We've got lots of time yet. There we got one side of the hair done. Now we're just going to carry it right over the top. Just like we did on the other side. And another thing that I totally steer away from is when I'm doing the ears. I don't carve cowboy with their hat pushed down to where their ears fold out. That's just not right. About the only time that would happen with the cowboy if he was getting 
on a horse he knew was going to buck. Because what they always say when, if you're uh, riding bucking horses before you take off is get a good grip, pull your hat down on your head, make an ugly face, and open the chute door. Otherwise, the cowboy's not going to force that hat down on his head unless he's standing out in the wind or something like that. And even then, I don't think it's going to be pushed down to where his ears bend over. That'd be kind of uncom uncomfortable, I'd think. So, all right, we got that done. Let's go ahead and carve this right across the top. There we got his hair now. Now we have to decide on uh, what are we going to do. Are we going to give him a mustache or are we going to give him a smile? Well, cowboys, those cowboys back in the old days had mustaches, so that's what we'll do. We'll give him a mustache. So I'm going to take off some corners here. I heard something on the uh, old radio Gunsmoke show last night. Back before Gunsmoke was on TV, it was on the radio. And it star starred William Con Conrad, you know, the guy that played Cannon on TV, the detective show. He was the voice of Matt Dillon. But anyway, he was, after the show was over, he was talking. And he said that the word nester, you know, that's those guys the cowboys hated because they put up fences and stuff. That word nester came from that when these guys went out, the nesters went out and cleared brush off their land, they piled it up around their place, and it kind of looked like a bird's nest. So that's where they got the word nester. Now, I don't know if that's true. Sounds pretty neat, though. Okay. Now, they say in actual life, the top of the ear is generally to the top of your eyebrow, and the bottom of the ear comes to the bottom of your nose. Well, we can pretty well just throw that right out the window, because we're not going to be worried about that. We're going to take our nose, and we're going to start it about right there, okay? So I'm going to make me a cut right here. And that's going to be the start of the nose. Can you see that? Let me hold it over right. the dark there. Now you can see okay. it. Okay. And then we're going to just kind of carry it on around the head just a little. Now when you're doing a mustache, the mustache is going to eat up some of the overhang of the nose. So don't cut it back too far. And also, when doing mustaches, you don't have to do a mouth, generally. So that saves you some grief, sometimes. Okay, so now we got that done. So let's just continue this mustache right on down. Well, I don't know how far I'm going to take it. Let's just leave it hanging out there. Okay, and then you've got the center of the head right there. So that mustache is going to curl away from that. About the only thing that's going to be showing down here will be the bottom of this chin. Okay, let's continue our center line on up the head. Like that. Now we're going to work on the nose. So with the nose, right there is your center line. Just not quite to the center line, but a little ways outside of it. Just make it cut there. And then the same on the other side. Okay, see so there, we've got that now. So 
there's our nose. So now we can come in here. Take a wedge out. See, this is where that slant we put into the head profile when we first laid it out really starts to pay off. Even though this tiny cabasso well, it's the best you can buy, you know, if you can take little steps to make it even easier, it always pays off. Right, so now we've got her nose. See there? See the profile? It's starting to look pretty neat. Check my time, and we're just about out of time. So, uh, Make it just a cut right here. Starting to look pretty good. And notice, we haven't done anything for the eyes. We haven't uh, added any detail to the ears. We're just creating a blank face. We don't want to rush into stuff. So, in the next... Uh, Next video, we'll just continue on and uh, keep roughing out this face. So, until then, I'll talk to you later.